Do not attempt what you see in this video until after you have spoken to someone from fellow mortals. Cottontails are very high stress animals and survive much better when cared for by their mother. If the situation is safe for the cottontails and they look healthy, we will have you attempt to re-nest them. Step 1. Wearing gloves, place all the babies back in the nest, covering them with the original nesting material of grass and fur. Mom will not abandon the babies because of human scent, but always wear gloves when you handle them. Do not move the nest. Even moving it a few feet will result in orphaning the babies. Step 2. Mark the nest with long blades of grass, making a pattern that covers the whole area. Do not mark the nest with sticks, twigs, logs, or rocks. Anything heavy on top of the nest can result in orphaning the babies. Step three, take a picture. You will refer to the picture the next day. If mom has come back to feed the babies, the pattern you made should be unrecognizable. Step 4. Leave the nest alone until the following morning. Step 5. Check the nest after sunrise. Compare the picture you took of the nest the previous day with what the nest looks like now. If mom came back, the pattern should be disrupted. Step 6. Call and let us know the outcome, 262-248-5055. If the pattern has not been disrupted, please do not disturb the nest until after you have spoken with us. This nest has not been disrupted. The rehabilitator may ask for a picture of one of the babies to determine if the baby looks healthy and if it has been fed. The baby on the left has not been fed. The baby on the right has been fed, and you can see the milk in the belly. Healthy babies will be warm to the touch and have big, round bellies. These babies have recently been fed by their mom. Notice the big, round belly. Let's take a closer look. Do not handle any of the babies unless you have been told to do so. Always wear gloves if you have to handle them. If the nest pattern has been disrupted, do not check the babies unless you have been told to do so. This nest has been disrupted. If it has been determined by the rehabilitators that re-nesting has been unsuccessful, please prepare the babies to be transported in for care. You can watch our video on providing supplemental heat and safe transportation for orphaned and injured babies once you have spoken to someone from fellow mortals. If it has been determined that the babies have been successfully re-nested, follow on to step 7. Step 7. Leave the nest alone. Do not keep marking the nest. Continual disruption of the nest and the babies can result in orphaning them. You can monitor the nest from a safe distance. The babies called kits open their eyes at one week, are weaned by three weeks, and leave the nest at about four weeks. Keep an eye out for them running around the yard after a few weeks. Do not hesitate to call us again if you think they need help. Thank you for caring about the wild ones.
Fellow Mortals is open seven days a week by appointment only. 262-248-5055, W4632 Palmer Road, Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, 53147.